Welcome. The following technical support video will walk you through the steps of printing from Adobe Photoshop to the multi-rip film, film positive software. Before we begin, it's important to understand how Photoshop differs from Illustrator or CorelDRAW. Photoshop is a raster graphic program and thus does not give us the same access to view the color separations of spot colors the same exact way that Corel or Illustrator does. So for the purposes of Photoshop, we recommend you using the RIP Define settings. To look at the RIP Define settings, you'll want to open up the RIP interface. Click on the top Settings menu and go down to Print Settings. Here on the left side is where you'll highlight your printer and then come down and click Set Print and Eek Settings. This is the window where you can set your default settings. There's another video that goes through the process of setting all this. But in this, this is where you can come down and set all of your different settings for your frequencies, your angles, and also the different shapes that you want to use. It's important to understand when doing most textile screen printing, you want all colors to be the same. So you'll want that box to be checked. So what you'll do is you'll come in here and you'll set your colors depending on which you want to run. In this case, we're just going to use the example of printing at a frequency of 60 and a screen angle of 35. Once you've done that, just come down and click OK and then exit out. Now we'll go back into our Photoshop and we'll have our graphic. You want to have your graphic somehow separated depending on however you do it. This is just our standard density curve test so it's done with all black ink. So you can go up to the top, click on File and go down to Print. In the Print dialog box, let's move this so you can see it better, you will have a couple of different options. And this dialog box might look different depending on what version of Photoshop you're using. In some cases, you might even have to go File Print Preview. But over on one of the sides, you can usually expand the options and you can choose Output. With the output, it will then give you the ability to put different things on here like registration marks, center crop marks. What we're going to look for is you're going to look for the screen button. Underneath the screen button, it will ask if you want to use the printer default screen. You can go ahead and leave that check. We're going to use the RIP defines. If you were doing a CMYK process, then what you could also do is then you have a drop down box for your cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, which you could then set. So in this case, since we're going to go ahead and print using our RIP defined settings, you want to click on the page setup button and set up to make sure you have the right printer. So we're choosing the multi RIP film for Stylish Pro 1400, and we can come down here and choose our two settings we need to look at in our advanced options. First one is our page size. This is the graphic we're using is a letter size 8.5 by 11. We'll keep the letter option. The second option that we'll look at is our screening. And these are going to be our def the RIP define is the ones that we looked at previously in this video that are our default settings. And then we also have document defined. So in this case we're going to use RIP define. Document define is much easier to use when you're printing from either Illustrator or CorelDRAW and you might want to look at those videos if that's something you're interested in. So once you choose your RIP Define, go ahead and click OK, OK, and then Print. It'll bring up this window. You should see all of your other settings if you want again to click on Preferences, but they all carried over. Just click the Print button. It'll then open up the multi-RIP film interface. As you see, the graphic will begin the process. It'll start bringing up a preview. You can come to the Incoming Jobs tab and see the job being processed here. Once the job is finished, it'll come over to the Process Jobs tab. When it's in the Process Jobs tab, and then you can also have the Process Pages tabs. Two ways you can view it, the job and click at them. You can click on the View at Full Resolution bar, or anytime you can also come and click on the Process Jobs tab double click on the file name 
and then when this window opens up on the left hand side you'll see where it says pages click the view click on the number underneath that and it will bring up the page if you want to view this at a full resolution just click on the full resolution view it will bring up a window and in this window it will give you the ability down at the bottom if you want to zoom in and you can just click the button as many times as you want to actually come in and look at the individual graphic that you wanted to look at and you can scroll down and see the specific halftone dots that's all it takes printing from Adobe Photoshop to the multi-film software if you have any additional questions please contact your distributor thank you